You know, it's really crazy that this game is a year old and I can't believe it. It feels like I, it feels like I'm an old man already. Actually, no, scratch that. I'm a gamer and as a gamer, I must get that bread. If you know what I'm saying, right? Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Anyways, enough of the garbage intro. What is up everybody, Ronald here and welcome back for another video and I usually don't do a video like this but it's actually a pretty big day if you think about it. That's right, it is the one year anniversary for Smash Ultimate. Now I really want to thank Smash Ultimate because not only is it a really good game to make content on as well as to have fun with you guys, but it honestly has made my channel gone a lot farther and I know I'm gonna get this comment already I know because you know, I know how you guys are and everybody else, which is fine Ronald, what about the other games like Smash Flash 2, Splatoon 2, and I do agree with you guys Those games has also, you know, helped my channel grow But something about Smash Ultimate though Smash Ultimate is that one game where basically whenever I stream it I never really get tired, I never really get like like bored of it, I get really fired up whenever I play with you guys, as well as against good people, like I play against really good people at my local tournaments as well as at my university, and honestly speaking, when I play that type of game, I get really fired up and really excited because for those who do not know, I love playing competitive a lot, like a lot of competitive stuff. And whenever I get into that scene, I just get fired up and ready for a battle, which uh, may be kind of taken in other ways, but you know what I mean. Take it into the battlefield and get that nice and powerful W. And speaking of being fired up, I do want to talk about this because this is like a really big part of 2019, or in general, part of my gaming career, well, career i'm not really calling it like a career per se but my favorite hobby being gaming i guess if you want to call it that smash ultimate this year has been really good to me because as some of you may know i do like competitive smash i take part in the scene well not like big in the scene but i am trying to get into the scene and trying to get like a better understanding of it and you know maybe someday i'll be a top player with my greninja maybe but besides the point, it's been really good this year because of the amount of local tournaments I've been going to, the amount of new ideas I've been learning from the game, the, the concept of it, the functionality of the game, like you name it. I've just been getting a lot of good times with it. And yes, there are times where the game is kind of eh, like it's like a double edged sword. It's like good and bad, I guess, <laughs> you know? But yeah, something about Smash Ultimate, I like it because of how it helped me to understand more of the competitive scene. And just in general, I, I just love it so much because of that. And speaking of changes, like I said, there are some good changes, but there are some bad changes, mainly some patch notes. Now, I don't wanna go into the whole patch notes or like any past patch or whatever you wanna call it in Smash Ultimate. Uh, personally, for me, I don't mind them because, you know, Greninja, Rob, I mean, at least my characters who I play competitively, they have not been changed or heavily nerfed. But other characters, though, yeah, they've gotten kind of, kind of dropped. And I do understand those who are having issues with those characters. And this is where, like I said, Smash Ultimate, it's like a double-edged sword, basically. There are good things about it and bad things about it. And I feel like some of the changes are good and bad, but honestly, I can talk about all the bad things for the game, but honestly speaking, I might as well make another video about it because if I do talk about it, whoo, I'll talk about the online, man. Oh, the online. <laughs> the online is like, it, it can really be fixed, but let me not get into that. Let me just keep on going and talk about the next thing about Smash Ultimate. Now, let me talk about the support for the game because, oh my gosh, the support for the game has been insane. 
Not in terms of patches, because some patches are... Well, some patches are good, but some patches are not so good. But let me talk about the characters and the sages. Well, at least the DLC characters, because I think that's more important, honestly. Um, Joker, insane. I mean, I have never played a Persona game before, but Joker being a character in Smash, that's insane. Um, Hero, I love Hero so much. Banjo Kazooie, um, never played a single Banjo game before, but still a pretty cool character. And Terry, never played any of his games before, but they look pretty cool as well, too. And most importantly, Sans. But, but. There are some good things with Smash Ultimate, being, like I said, the support, the DLC characters, the soundtrack, oh, the soundtrack, don't get me started on the soundtrack in that game. It is so good, and I'm just so glad that one of my favorite songs are in the game. And there's just many other good things about Smash Ultimate that I personally like about it. Again, there are some bad things. Um, <clears throat> online should really be fixed. But overall, it is still a good game, I would say. But that's just, again, my personal opinion. I like how I say it, just my personal opinion. But I just want to get that out there because I know people always ask, like, hey, is Smash Ultimate a good game or a bad game? Like, what do you think about it? And honestly, it's a good game. So honestly, guys, that's it for this video. Um, I didn't really want this to be like a review video, but I mean, it ended up being a semi-review video if you want to call it that but at the end of this i just want to say that smash ultimate has been really good on my channel i'm gonna keep on playing it gonna keep on getting better and in general i just like seriously guys like i, I can't thank you all enough for making this game really big on my channel um and i it, it's just that i i, I I, I don't know how to explain it, man. It's so crazy on my channel. Like, I'm just lost of words. <laughs> like, like, you know, it's like when I sometimes, like, don't know what to say, it's because, like, I'm so shocked that I can't believe how big the game is on my channel, getting a lot of support, and not only Smash Ultimate, but also other games, but mostly Smash Ultimate is getting a lot of support on my channel, and I want to keep on going. I want to keep on getting better at the game. And I want to keep giving you guys good content because all of you, all of you watching right now, all of you deserve good content, like really good content. And of course, I'm not saying that I'm the best content creator. All right. I do need to work on some things like my commentary, um, the placement of my webcam. Like my webcam is like at a weird placement right now, but it's because uh, I really don't know any other best location to put it. But the bottom line is that I'm not perfect. I'm not really a good content creator per se, but I will try to become better and hopefully make you guys happy because that is my goal. Make you guys happy and keep on growing so that we can get a bigger community. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Um, of course, like I said again, like I know I keep on saying, feel free to comment down below, but if you ever need anything to be answered or if you have any concerns or any, you know, comments about anything, then like I said literally a couple words ago, feel free to comment down below and I'll be sure to spawn back as soon as possible. But that's done for our rambling. I'll see you all next time. And as always, have a good one.